Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this, how do I change this to another value that I can choose? He's got it in millimeters. I draw in inches. But if I want to change mine to millimeters, I would, with nothing selected, I would go millimeters. And then anything I draw with the parallel dimension tool will be in millimeters. And if we zoom in here, and that's one of the problems I think he's talking about. So let's get rid of that. I'm going to change mine back to inches with nothing selected. But here's the kind of the key to make that bigger in a different value, I'm guessing, in a different font. I've done videos like this, but I'm not maybe gone this far. So with the text tool, before you click this, go up here and I'm going to change mine to Cooper Black. And I'm going to check dimension. I don't ever use paragraphs, so I don't really care. Then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna pick 100 points dimension. And I'm also going to change it later on the uh, output. But now, if we take the parallel dimension tool, it's changed the font and it's changed the, the size of the font. Now, right here, you could change the decimals to more decimals. Now that's not that big a deal, but if you happen to make this box just a little bit bigger, look at the decimal point there. Now, with all that said and done, go up to tools and save as default. I can save it because I can change it back and have everything ch checked and say, okay. Now, the next time you turn on Corel, it should have all those figures. So let's get back to the parallel dimension tool, get on the node from node, and see it's got that font. It's still set at, uh, you know, I think the first one was set here. So 15.6, I think I set it to there. Now you can even go further. I mean, you could go way out, but that's not really necessary. So, and you can still change the font again if you want. So, but with the text tool, don't click. So the, the don't click is the key. Why you just got it up there. Let's change it back to, well, let's make it a cool looking font. Let's try this one right here and just check dimension. And also if you wanted to be artistic text, you could check it here too now. Now let's look at it. Parallel dimension tool from node to node. So you change it totally. Now, you could change this. You could change to this. You could change, you know, feet. So it's only 1.29 feet. Uh, you could change, I mean, the decimal, fractional engineering or architecture. I never play with that. Uh, you can change, um, this is probably just for millimeters to um, change that quotation mark. But anyway, that's how to do it. And then if you save it by default, so look, I didn't save that. And well, I'm not gonna close down Corel to show you, but uh, that that font will work till you close down Corel. But once you've saved it, it'll always be there. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.